Welcome to the first of our quarterly webinars where we're going to be discussing hot topics in software development. The first of which is going to be on the term digital transformation. My name is Paul Drake. I'm a director at Spear Software. At the heart of what we do at Spear is quite simple. We make your business more efficient and profitable, better than your competition. So the purpose of this webinar is to dispel a few myths, to help you understand a few of the, the key terms that are, are hot at the minute. Um, so we're going to be looking at what digital transformation is. Is it a buzz phrase? How can digital transformation benefit your business? How can it enable your business um, to scale? I'm going to go through some real life examples of digital transformation and the benefits that it's brought about. We'll look at some practical exercises each business can use to visualize how simple digital transformation changes can have a great benefit to a business's efficiencies. So the first question then, what is digital transformation? Is it just a buzz phrase? Now, the short answer is, it's a current hot trend phrase, if you like. People are using the word digital transformation interchangeably, but the, the, the principle behind digital transformation has been happening for many, many years. It's just being given a badge and a name. Um, as an example, a CRM from a spreadsheet so going from a spreadsheet to a CRM would be classed as a digital transformation because you were transforming that process to be more digital, to be more automated, or probably a better example would be pen and paper to a spreadsheet and then to a CRM. Um, but to answer that question, it is a bit of a buzz phrase, but there's lots of meaning and purpose and benefit that sit behind the phrase. And I think it's here to stay. So how can digital transformation benefit your business? So there's lots of ways that digital transformation can benefit businesses, um, mostly through the improvement of efficiencies. Every business has a process from managing leads that come in from one end or a request for quotation through the delivery of that service or that product to the aftercare uh, of that product to the invoicing and everything in between. So digital transformation can really benefit that process by making it much more efficient through automation to make uh, your business much more profitable. The other benefit, well, there's many other benefits, but the, the one that is most obvious and most relatable to people is the data that a digital platform can provide. So it gives business owners much clearer information on sales trajectories, where the leads are coming from, the conversions, trends, that sort of thing, to enable them to be better informed and make better informed decisions using real time and data and statistics. So there's lots of benefits to digital transformation. Those are just two of them. So how can digital transformation enable my business to scale? So businesses that are trying to scale need to have a core system that's managing the delivery of what they do. If they're trying to grow and trying to maximize that profit, unless they've got the right systems in place that can manage the end-to-end -end processing of a, a, an order coming in at one side or a lead coming in at one side, delivery and the production of that service or product, the invoice and the delivery and the aftercare, then a lot of time is going to be wasted working on that, or not so much, not so much wasted, but they'll be spending a lot of time working on those processes that could be automated. So digitally transforming a business so that all those jobs that could be automated are taken care of by digital solution or solutions, it's going to enable a business to be to scale because people will be able to spend time bringing on more customers and working on different product ranges, bringing on different revenue streams 
uh, and then the profit is not lost. It's maximized through the actual delivery of the service or the product that the, the customer is delivering or the business is delivering. So it, it's easy for me to say that these things are beneficial. So I thought I'd show you some or explain some um, examples of um, real, real case studies on uh, digital transformation. The first is a, a company that provide solar panels, batteries, all the, perifer all the peripheral equipment that goes with generating energy um, from the sun. Um, so before the company approached us, they were working on pads, pen and paper, traditional phone approach. So they have spreadsheets full of customers. They bring the customer, they go out and see them, they write down information on pieces of paper, then they generate a quotation, email it over or send it uh, in the post, and then generate a payment from the back of that, all completely manually. Um, but they were looking to scale. To, to, to grow their business. And the only way they could see to grow that business was to automate a lot of those processes. So we provided some consultancy to understand how their business worked, because without that, you can't really um, define what the solution is that that, that business needs. The result of that consultation uh, resulted in a web application and a mobile application to help the business automate the process of managing leads at one end to automate in the process of um, creating an appointment with the client, automating the diaries of the sales agents. When the sales agents go out, they have tablets with all the information on that that's partly filled in from the lead. They can deliver a sales pitch using the tablet. They can calculate the amount of savings or amount of energy that the solar panels are going to potentially um, create based on the orientation of the roof um, and particular parameters to put in. Um, and they can also take pictures of the roof, pictures of the house to generate a contract for the client within their own home. They can also take signatures, automate the processing of payment, signing up to finance agreements, and then ultimately generating the, the, the order form for the suppliers so that they can go and fit it afterwards, subject to the client signing off. So once that whole process has been done, all that information has been stored in the, in the system so that the owners can then generate reports and manage their KPIs so that they can see how many leads have been converted into sales or appointments, how many appointments have been converted into sales, what's the best area of conversion, You know, are they making money on each job, is there a better way that they can they can approach the sales process to convert more. You know, it really has transformed the way they do things. And, and this, this product was around about the time of COVID-19. And it's also been enhanced to enable the client to be able to sign in their own home without the agent being there so they can step through the process over the phone, albeit digitally. So it really is a, a secure system that has helped the business achieve what they need to achieve but also be able to be socially distanced and operate um, in a way that they wouldn't ever be able to operate before so this is a really good example of digital transformation or the term digital transformation the second uh, example i'm going to talk about today is a um, pest control business um, small business very relatable to this to this term digital transformation and very relatable to people that are hopefully watching this um, in that it's most people have come across pests in, in some point in their life you know everybody's seen a rat or a mouse or birds that have, that have caused problems in, in homes or businesses now this business didn't have anything in place um, to manage their business so when similar to the previous company they went out to see the customer they wrote everything down on a piece of paper Everything was managed on paper, um, didn't, he, didn't even have a spreadsheet. Um, generated invoices using Word, which is Microsoft Word, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, but it just wasn't very joined up and it was very, very slow process. And it limits the amount of jobs that you can get through because you're still having to do that admin work. 
So similar to the previous company, we provided consultancy to, to truly understand how the business worked. Um, different to most pest control companies, this one was an ethical uh, pest control business. So they wanted to manage um, what chemicals we use or try not to use chemicals in the first instance. Um, but they wanted a system that would allow them to A, create appointments uh, for quotations in the system, create electronic quotations in the system, record visits in the system, record jobs in the system, automatically generate invoices through the system, generate heat maps of areas where there's potential um, problems or, or more problems with pest control so they could target those areas and target other customers. Um, and it really is a, a, a transformation um, like you wouldn't believe from, from nothing to, to completely automated, which has allowed, allowed the business to, to fulfill many more jobs through the day not needing to worry about what's been recorded, whether an invoice has gone out because it's always automated, along with the reports that are generated. It's all automated so that you can do more work. And the main aim of his business is to, to create um, a model that can be used throughout the UK and then potentially uh, other countries. So he definitely created the framework for that, for growth. So those are two excellent examples of, of digital transformation that are very relatable. So we're going to go through some practical exercises that every business can do to sort of visualize how simple digital transformation changes can have a, a massive benefit to, to the business efficiencies. So the, the first thing that a, a business owner can do is look at the processes. That's the first place, or sorry, the second place that we start when we're doing these exercises. The first place that we start is we look at the IT infrastructure, see what's there. The second stage is to look at the processes, which is more important. Break it down into sections. Um, this example is um, from an insurance company taking a call, somebody wanting a quote. Um, at the time of writing, the quotes were recorded when somebody called them up, then they would email or log into the individual supplier systems to generate the quotations, then collect the results, and then they would email it or call back the customer. Very manual, labor-intensive process. But something like this is, is, is a great place to start. Jot your ideas down on, on uh, post-it notes or pieces of paper and map out that journey so you know what it looks like. And do that for each area of the business and then try and join it together at the end. So this is the, re the result. Um, the dashed line on the previous example illustrated a manual process. So this is taking that manual process and, and automating it and appreciate as a business, you might not understand how that works and that's why we exist as digital transformation experts. But you can draft that first one to see where the problems lie. Then you can see where you might be able to add uh, automation uh, through digital solutions. Now this was the, the after process diagram. So we can see that the call comes through it's recorded in a system and it automatically goes into the individual systems for a generation of a quotation and it, the results automatically go back to the customer. So you can see that they can get through many, many more quotations than they ever would have done with the old process. So once you've got the, once you've defined all the processes, you can then see what's out there. And I would always suggest looking to see what's off the shelf, uh, what exists as a software as a service, um, and then move on to the bespoke side. Uh, or a hybrid approach and appreciate not everyone understands that and that's where we exist come and speak to us you know we'd, we'd spend an hour with you and it doesn't cost you any money um do your process mapping first and then we can help you so the summary then of this uh, webinar look at what you've currently got draft your processes end to end use post-it notes put them on the wall put them on a table use pieces of paper join them together um, and then draft what a process, a streamlined process might look like. And then look into the market for options or speak to an expert like us and we can certainly help you. Um, you know, we're nice friendly people, we try to use jargon um, and we're local if you live in the Northeast. But thank you for watching. <laughs>